think we really didn't know what to expect. That's where the most alarming um, problem reveal itself to us. There's actual change that can come out of it. The Grand Challenge is a very big project. In fact, it's actually the largest uh, postgraduate project conducted that we know of uh, in the world where we're gathering a huge amount of brain trust, over 400 multidisciplinary minds to work on one big problem. We've been asking them to take their skills, their mindset, their creativity, and work together, collaborate, participate, and then co-design with the communities that actually are across the country. And really to expose them around some of the big issues around climate change, rising sea levels, rising sea temperatures. What does that actually mean for the marine environment, but what does it actually mean for human beings? There's a range of different aspects that the students are looking at to try and tackle these issues. And it's therefore quite location dependent. So what might work in one location, for example, putting ocean grasses, might not be applicable in, in other locations. So it's understanding and context and people. So the title of our project is Jurassica. Jellyfish platform that we're calling it, where the jellyfish will pass through it. Uh, that's how Tidal Tape was born. What we design is a biodegradable sensor. It's a sensor that can provide information about water temperature, about oxygen levels, and also about the pH of the water. This sensor is going to dissolve in two to six weeks. It's really just to learn more about what is happening there and provide this data very quickly. This is a very big project, uh, and it's going to involve many students. Uh, it's going to involve many of our sites right around the coast of the UK and uh, we're hoping that we'll have some very, quite innovative output uh, from this collaboration that will help guide us into the future, particularly in the areas of sustainability around the coast. For my team we were assigned with Paul in Dorset. We are based in Stranacombe, city in the north of Northern Ireland. The trip going up to St Andrews, which is where our location was, was a very good bonding experience. Realised that um, what outsiders uh, perceive as like problems or issues um, might not actually be that apparent to the local community because they have things that they celebrate and they really cherish and value. I think it's really surprising because when you start talking to people, you discover um, that the problem is completely, and it's entirely different. And you're looking at it from really far away, from a completely different lens. And what you don't understand is that the people within that situation might be feeling a completely different way. And I think with the Grand Challenge, lots of teams were able to do that. I think they were able to go down and actually challenge those assumptions that they brought to those places. It's not just about the quality of the soil and quality of the beach. It is about a lot more than that. One of the things that the RNLI offers is the opportunity for our students to engage with RNLI volunteers around the coastline of Great Britain. And of course, in each lifeboat station around the coastline, there are different scenarios within the local communities. We kind of found that the ocean and the coastline itself was this sort of shared element that all the communities sort of cared for. And so we felt like using the ocean as the tool to communicate. The very special thing that the Grand Challenge has is the idea of collaborating across disciplines and culture. My background is from textile industry. Prior to this, I worked as a curator. I come from a visual design and cognitive science background. So we are coming from different countries, from China, from Canada, from Brazil, uh, with a lot of international experience in working. We are confident in our field, and also we are being trusted by each other out in our own expertise. We do prepare students before they go out into local communities and start to interact with people. And how we do that is we teach them a lot around team working, 
interviewing, gathering data, listening correctly and observing. But there are some ethical considerations. And we like to stress with the students that this is very important. So they have to be very kind of grateful of the time that the volunteers are giving to them and also understand how we can be ethical with them in terms of being grateful of, of their kind of, of their identities or the information they actually are sharing with us. So this is a code of conduct that we actually developed. This is our product. It's a capsule made with biomaterials that contains the seed um, with the nutrients to start the growing. And when the, the seed is strong enough, it will break this capsule and grow by itself inside the ocean. Um, our group's project was called Pool Pavilion. It was basically this interactive museum that was both above the water and below the water. At the bottom, we decided to incorporate um, aqua farming, so mussels, clams, oysters, that kind of stuff. And then we also included like a little restaurant where they could try um, kind of like farm to table dishes um, right then and there, so they'd be more open to the idea in the future. So the Grand Challenge feeds into, in terms of data collection, into a large project that we're calling NEMO. And NEMO stands for a new economic model for the world's oceans. We are about to announce the School of Design becoming a UNESCO Ocean Decade partner. And that's quite a big step in research terms. It really allows our research staff and students where appropriate to engage with different regions around the world in partnership with UNESCO and other scientific groups. I've never worked on anything like this and a lot of people have asked me, you know, how's university going? And I'm like, yeah, I've been doing this project with jellyfish and they're like, wait, what are you studying again? <laughs> So it was very interesting seeing the different perspectives that they have on design and in the different ideologies they have. It was really, really fruitful experience for us. RCA provides a really multi-environment, a free for any kind of different background student to work out together and bridge different inclusiveness, whether across language or nationality, and re really respectful to learning each other. So this is not just a design project, as such it's bigger than that, uh, and we'll be doing work in the world's oceans for many years to come. Mm -hmm.